Six ways to get back on track when you've lost it. Many times we can find ourselves in the rock bottom. When we say that we don't know what to do next, I've lost my vision of the future, I've lost my motivation, and I would rather give up, it's not worth it, and we would rather go back into our old habits, maybe go back to your old job or whatever it is, but there are six ways how you can get back on track with more motivation, with more energy and more inspiration. And you will always find the energy to move on, to go on. So what are the six ways that you can get back on track? The first one is create a clear and precise vision of the future. We are many times mentioning that vision of the future. Create a clear picture in your mind, which will be so precise that every time when you will just think about it, you will get inspired. So whatever it is, if it's about your income, it's, if it's about your job, if it's about relationships, if it's about any material thing, if it's about your mental state, how you want to feel like, in the future, if it's about your mindset, if it's about whatever, create a clear vision. You can all also go into more details like what kind of income you want to make, what kind of job you want to have or you want to have your own business, what kind of things you want to do in your free time what kind of habits you want to create, what kind of people you want to meet. All those things can be a part of your vision of the future and then you can create a vision board or you can create a daily practice out of visualizing that thing. So be truly precise about it because something magical happens in our bodies when we start visualizing something that we would like to experience. Every time when we get really precise about the vision of the future, when we are stepping into it in our minds, our body starts producing chemistry as it is already happening. So we start feeling emotions. Emotions are the byproducts of the thoughts. So when we start feeling the emotions of the joy and happiness, we will feel much better. We will feel more inspired and we will feel motivated to take action. So that's a powerful step. The next one, the second one is find your why. Why you're doing it at the first place. Do you want to change yourself? Do you want to add something to humanity? Do you want to change something just about maybe small parts about your life? Maybe you would like to succeed at certain things. Maybe you would like to prove yourself that, that you can do it. Maybe you would like to heal your body. Or maybe you would like to heal somebody else. Maybe you would like to buy a certain thing. Maybe you would like to help somebody with money. Find your why and write it on a piece of paper and put it somewhere where you will be able to see it any time in a day if it's possible. Find your why because when we know why we are doing it, it is the most important answer. It is the most important answer which is always pushing us forward. So this is important. The next one, the third one is always feed your mind with informations which supports your first thing, vision of the future. Feed your mind with informations which inspires you to create what you are visualizing, what you have on a vision board, what you are thinking constantly. Create thoughts, write thoughts down. Listen or watch videos which will support your vision. Read books which will support your vision. Because once again, when we are visualizing it, we empower ourselves. We create, like I said before, a chemistry in the body. But when we are moving through the day, many times we fall into our subconscious programs. Our subconscious mind 
was designed in our past, through all the experiences that, that we went through, through all the information that we've perceived. So if we truly want to change voices in our subconscious mind, we need to start feeding it with new information, new information which supports our vision. So how to reprogram your subconscious mind so it will support your vision? Subconscious mind is a mind of repetition. So when we are repeating certain thoughts over and over again consciously, they will go into our subconscious mind. It can also be programmed in the theta brainwave state or alpha brainwave state. So what are those two states? We step into alpha brainwave state when we are relaxed, when we are creative, and most of the times, if not all the times, when we fall into a sleep. Just before we fall into a sleep, we go through alpha brainwave state and through theta brainwave state. And those are the states when our subconscious mind becomes more acceptable for information. So at those times we can also listen to affirmations which supports the vision of our future. So you can also reprogram your subconscious mind with affirmations. But in my experiences the most powerful method is writing my thoughts down. Writing my thoughts which supports my future down on a piece of paper when I wake up and before I go to sleep. And many times in the middle of the day I open my block when, where I'm writing things down and I'm reading it. Sometimes loud, sometimes just in my mind, just to remind myself what are the thoughts that I want to think, what are the things that I want to focus on, because wherever you are placing your focus, you are placing your energy, and energy is life. The next one, the fourth one, meditate. Meditation, we are constantly talking about meditation, it is a powerful tool. Meditation is helping us to get back into the present moment. In present moment, we always know where we want to focus on. We always know what is important to us. What is our why? What is our vision of the future? When we get lost in life, our brain goes into a high beta brainwave state. When we are in high beta brainwave state, we are in fight or flight. We are stressed. We are like driven by adrenaline. So we are looking around us what we can do or how to deal with the challenges. But it's not the time when we are creating. It's not the time when we are creatively thinking what we want to experience. So meditation helps us to get our energy back, to get our power back. And when we have all the energy back, we have that creative energy for manifesting, for creating, for designing our lives. So create or make meditation as a daily practice. I love to meditate in the morning. I'm always taking at least 30 minutes to one hour in the morning, but you can start with five minutes and then progress onto 10 minutes and then onto 15 minutes and then 20 and 30 minutes. It really doesn't matter because the first most important thing is just that you started, that you started changing your habits onto the more powerful one, more, more like the habits which are truly empowering you, which are truly supporting you. And that's really powerful. The fifth one is create goals. Write your goals down, what you want to become or what you want to achieve. With your vision of the future, you have a map. Now goals are the destinations on that map. It doesn't mean that when you will finish that goal that you're done. Every time you can add more, but be spiritual with it. You know, don't be just driven by those goals. Be driven by the experiences that you are meeting while you are achieving those goals. Goals are amazing because goals are actually giving us motivation to do things. Goals are motivating us. And we can be truly creative with these goals. So read some books about 
Whatever you are working on, if it's business, read some books about business, what kind of goals different people had. Maybe it's about money, till the end of this year you want to make 1 million dollars or just 100 thousand dollars or however it is. If you're an artist, maybe till the end of this month I want to finish this painting, I want to finish this book, I want to finish this drawing. Whatever it is, truly be creative with the goals, because when we have goals, we set to ourselves like a time limit, because most of the times when we don't have time limit, we are just procrastinating. As long as some force is like pushed us, now you need to finish it. So goals are powerful. And the last one, the sixth one, take actions, be active in life. Take actions on those goals every single day. And one really powerful way how to take more actions is to have, like, to create, produce more energy in your body. And how to produce more energy? Be active. Do some sports. Go for a run. Go for a walk in the nature. And again, create a daily practice out of it. When we are active, we are more ener energized, we are breathing deeply. Also, breathing is again a powerful exercise to raise your energy in the body. When we have more energy, we have more focus. When we have more focus, it's much easier to create, it's much easier to work. So it's not about hard work, it's about smart work produce the energy which supports your future and work on that so that's it my friends those are the six ways that you can get back on track doesn't matter how lost you are doesn't matter on how low vibrations you are it will move you you will be inspired by you you will actually become the source of inspiration and that's really powerful and don't forget, the universe is always supporting your back, it got your back. So every time when you will feel lost, you can go into meditation and ask it for advice, ask it for guidance and be aware because signs are all around you. That's it, my friends. I'm sending you love, I'm sending you power and blessings. Have a beautiful time and see you soon. One love.